If you're in your 40s and you have tendonitis popping up left and right, might I introduce you to the concept that there are estrogen receptors and progesterone receptors in your tendons and that you didn't know this because they didn't really discover it until the late 1990s and then it wasn't in your textbooks and maybe your doctor doesn't know it. But the way your receptors express themselves, well, as your hormones change, it changes how they express themselves and they can be a real pill how they express themselves. So your tendonitis can happen because of hormone fluctuations. And anytime there's a hormone fluctuation in the ladies, their tendons don't like the fluctuations. Now, what's happening to us as we become grown adults who don't have recess and aren't doing sports, we're not moving as much as we once did. So we have less muscle mass. We're not controlling our joints as well. We're more inflamed as our hormones decline. Estrogen helped us deal with inflammation. Estrogen also helped us with our glucose regulation. And if you're not moving and your muscles are declining, your muscle is also an endocrine organ. So there is a host of reasons why your tendonitis is happening. Now there's hope. We can change what you do, but it's going to involve working on our joint health, which means moving your joint through the entire range. It also means strengthening you. So when I talk to you about walking, it's blood flow. When I talk to you about joint mobility and those routines, it's actually moving your joint through the entire range. When I talk to you about resistance training and strength training, it is training your muscles, but also training your tendons. You cannot heal your tendons by rest alone. Tendons need to be stressed so that they can remodel because if your tendons aren't stressed, a quality tendon doesn't exist then. It's going to be a crappy subpar wish version of the tendon you so desire. Now, with that being said, I think there's lots of things we don't understand with tendonitis. It is a weird, funky thing, but you could help yourself by doing those things and, and make sure the joints above and below are doing what they're supposed to because if they're not then the tendon that's hurting is being overworked because it's doing the job of other joints okay love you bye